Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my IGTV series called Get Skin Ready With Me, where every Sunday I will be uploading a new video of me picking and choosing some products that are going to help my skin get ready for the new week. Let's crack into it. Okay, so while I go through my skincare routine and talk about the products that I'm using, I did want to talk about something that gets asked a lot in my DMs and from people that know me in Whangarei and obviously people, friends and family, work colleagues, blah 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 blah, the list goes on. Um, so they often ask me how I became a blogger, got into Instagram and started working with friends. So while I um, do my skincare routine, I thought I'd just talk about it and then everyone knows. Now I don't have to continue repeating myself. Right, um, so, and I run the right way, Bradley. First of all, the Antipodes Aurora Manuka Honey Mask. Um, so I use this quite a lot. It obviously contains Manuka Honey um, in the product. I'm gonna put a little bit on my fingers and show you. So it's like a nice, rich, creamy uh, texture. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my face so this isn't a thick mask so it's not really noticeable it's one that comes off really easy um but it gives you that nice um getting it in my hair good one bradley um i'm getting it in yeah i forgot what i was saying far out so like i was saying it is a light mask and it's easily taken off and when it comes off it gives your skin a nice moistured um, glowy type feel so I always start off with the mask um, and then go on with the cleanser so while I give this a few minutes to work um, let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products by the way I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are um, and then don't forget to give it a like. Please. Right, um, so how I became a blogger. So a couple of years ago I had severe depression and anxiety and I was overweight. Um, and then I decided to start working out and getting my life sorted. I had Instagram but it was nothing special. It was just a personal account that I would probably post once every six months, maybe. Um, so yes, I started working out and I eventually lost 30 kgs um, originally and then in that process I thought I better start looking after my skin and that's how I got into skincare. So ever since then I kind of got slightly obsessed um, and I started posting more and more and more about lifestyle content and the products that I was using in terms of skincare um, and then brands started noticing. At that time the algorithm was really easy to push for followers and stuff like that so the hashtags you were using was getting your name out there a bit more than they are now um, and unfortunately it is harder to grow on Instagram but if you're authentic and do content that you really enjoy it doesn't really matter what other people think and that attitude will get you towards um, becoming a blogger or a vlogger or a micro influencer is what they call um, so I'm far from what I would call an influencer. Um, I enjoy the blogging aspect as part of a hobby and I would absolutely love to do this as a full-time job. But the reality is um, that's a work in progress. So, working on it. I started, like I said, um, creating content regarding my skincare and stuff like that. And I ended up getting hit up by different brands all over the show. Some were scams, some were not. You live and learn, to be honest. Um, now I know obviously if they ask you to pay for postage then it's a scam so watch out for that one. So um, in terms of that I started working with more and more brands and I have um, personally asked some brands if I could work with them um, and a lot of them have generously agreed to start it. Um, yeah I really enjoy it, it's a hobby. Okay so I am back. So now I'm going to go through and use the cleanser Refresh by Biology. So this is the first single plant um, cleanser in the world. It is a foaming cleanser and I love it. There is also the addition of a pad um, cloth that you can use in conjunction with this but I don't often 
use that as much as I would just uh, rinsing it off myself. So I'm going to show it now. I'll just give it a quick shake. So, so about three pumps. We're going to go through it. So it's obviously foaming. So I find this is really good for um, clearing out the oils and dirts. And, and I can't even talk. The impurities from uh, my face. Obviously, the harsh reality is um, stress, stress the environment, working outside, working inside, um, sun, etc. damages your skin slowly and over time. And obviously, this is brilliant to um, clear out any um, any crap, basically, you don't want in your skin. Uh, right. So I leave this on for about a minute um, and go from there. Right, so like I was saying, um, I had depression and anxiety and I started working with brands and bloggers. It's not to remember guys, just remember. Um, started working with brands and bloggers and the more and more I started doing it, the more and more confident that I got. Um, I do believe once you have depression, um, you can start to get on the other side of it but once you have it it's unfortunately a chemical imbalance that means um, you quite often suffer from it and my anxiety I still suffer from today but nowhere near as bad. Um, I'm not, a lot of people ask if I'm ashamed to say I had depression and anxiety and I'm really not. Um, there's some parts of it that I don't like talking about um, and there's some parts that I am very open about. Um, a lot had to do with the previous relationship, um, some family things, um, and not being true to myself. So now I am true to myself, um, I am gaining confidence back, um, and a few kilos while I at it. Um, but it's probably the happiest I've been in a long time. So, that's how I became a vlogger. It's not that interesting of a story. But it's one that is my story and I really enjoy talking about it um, and sharing that any, any person can become a blogger and work with brands. Um, you don't have to be you know, a special type of person, um, be confident, you don't have to do videos all the time, etc. Um, I know a lot of people that don't do videos and I'm only just starting. So if I can do it, you can do it. Right, I'm going to quickly go wash off the cleanser now and then we're going to start on the serum. Okay, so I'm back from washing off the Biology Refresh Cleanser um, and now I'm going to go in with the most talked about product that I've ever received is the Eleven Pearls Calming Essence. This um, is I think mainly due to the colour but it is a really nice um, product. It is designed to calm um, Irritants, blemishes, um, and soothe. So I'm just gonna show you the colour on my skin. It's really nice, but it dissolves really easily, um, and it gives you that nice glow afterwards, which is obviously awesome. Um, this smells absolutely amazing. Um, so I don't obviously overdo it. Um, I know a lot of people that put a shit load of serum on their face um, it actually doesn't do anything extra as long as it's um, on your face and it's sinking in then it is good to go so the next product I am going to use is the Antipodes um, Manuka Honey Sun Brightening Light Day Cream um, so there's also a night cream as well but it's only the afternoon so I'm not going to put that on just yet um, so this is a nice creamy texture um, it works brilliant alongside um, the Aurora um, honey, man, Manuka Honey Mask. See, so, I'm a male, I can't multitask obviously. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of here. And, um, and make sure it all seeps in around my face and not just in certain areas. Um, try to sink it in. Alright, so this week has been 
interesting to say the least. Um, I have had a lot of work on um, a lot of stuff outside of work. I've been trying to get to my sister's um, and brother-in-law's business for the past two weeks and it just hasn't happened. Um, and then obviously um, trying to do Instagram and get all the content up to date and all that sort of stuff has been a bit insane. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to go in with the Saver um, Instant Boost Multitoner and just to make sure that any blemishes and stuff like that is gone. So I just, um, you can spray it on your face directly, but I always like to put a little bit on my hands and just dab it around. Um, I prefer not to spray it on my face just in case I got onto my eyes and stuff like that. I've already got sensitive eyes and I'm meant to wear glasses but I don't typically unless I'm at work on the computer or doing stuff at home um, which involves a screen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's been interesting and I'm sorry for all the bloopers but if you have any questions relating to the five products that I've used or a little bit if you want to have a discussion around um, more around how to become a blogger and start working with brands, depression, anxiety and stuff like that, feel free to leave it in the comments um, and if you do like this video make sure you give it a, um, a love heart, a bit of a like, you can even share if you want to, don't mind. Um, thanks for watching.